Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm running out because I'm about to go to a birthday dinner, but I had to show you guys my outfit. Also, my makeup is kind of slaying, even though I'm sweating a little bit. I'm just like obsessed with myself today. I don't know what's gotten into me, but let's go to dinner. Also, for the first time ever, wearing my little Tiffany heart. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Devin if you're new here and if you are new definitely subscribe to my channel So many fun things coming and they're not just vlogs I took the week off last week to really recenter refocus on my plan for this channel and I have so many fun things Coming so I definitely don't want you guys to miss it today It's just gonna be a little fun vlog in San Diego The weather was really nice when I woke up this morning, but it's back to gloom now Unfortunately, but I have a fun day planned for myself and I'm hanging out with Rock today which is always a good time i went to the dentist this morning and they were basically singing my praises so now i'm on cloud nine I need to get ready. We're gonna start at the Museum of Contemporary Art. So let's get ready. I wanna try out some new makeup products, but we're kind of doing a little no makeup makeup look because we are gonna go to the beach after. Makeup's done. I'm obsessed with this look. Let's pick out an outfit. All right, I'm feeling cute. Let's go to the museum. Hi, Soul. Something that I don't ever know that I'm going to love and then I'm there and I'm like this is amazing I was like, okay I'm gonna bring my headphones and I'm gonna like zone out listen to my music and just like look at the art and I Ended up forgetting my headphones at home and it like for a split second I was like dang I feel like I should go back and get my headphones But I'm actually so happy that I decided to go technology free. But anyway, let's go to the beach
Hi girls! Yesterday ended up being such a fun day. I didn't film anything at the event last night, but I have a few photos and it was such a fun vibe. This morning I slept in, I mean I've slept in every single day this week. I haven't gotten out on my morning walk, not once. And sometimes you just need that. And I was so curious. I was like, why am I not, why am I having zero energy? And it's because I woke up and it was that time of the month. So if you guys watched my last video, I talked about how I haven't been on my cycle literally since November. So that was a complete and utter shock this morning, but it's back. I am getting my ultrasound next week. So I still have to figure out like why I haven't had it. And it's just like why it's irregular, but I'm happy to have it back. Like I feel like usually when it's that time of the month, I'm like, Dang, but when you haven't had that in like six months, it's kind of like, wow, <laughs> I feel blessed. But anyway, last night when I came home, I literally took off my clothes at various parts of my apartment and went to sleep. So I woke up to a pigsty. So we cleaned up the apartment. I think I'm gonna run the vacuum while I'm gone, but I need to run to Target. I wanna do a little crafting DIY activity tonight or like sometime this weekend. I really wanna start uh, scrapbooking all of my travels and just like fun moments in life. I got a scrapbook at the beginning of the year and I literally haven't used it. So I want to get the little HP sprocket. I also want to get a little blender. But I don't know if I want the little immersion blender. I think that's what it's called. Or if I want like a little neutral bullet, but I just need a small one because the recipe that I want to make for dinner tonight calls for one and I just think it's handy to have. The goods have been acquired. I'm so sorry for the banging next door. They're doing construction, but I think it's time to start preparing my dinner. I got this recipe from TikTok. Actually, my friend tried it and she really loved it. And she told me that I would really like it. So here we are trying something new. I think that's something that I'm so excited for living alone is just to be able to try out different recipes. <laughs> if there's one thing about me, I literally hate cooking and someone else being in the kitchen. Like, it could be anyone. It could be my most beloved friend, and I'm like, I need you to get out. Like, I need you to get out, or you tell me when you're done, and I'll come in here and have my me time. So now I get it all the time, and it's amazing. But they also didn't have the HP sprocket printer, so maybe I'll just plan out my journal, or my um scrapbook, and we'll gather the supplies at some other point. But as right now, let's prepare dinner. Um, I hope this doesn't take too long, but we do have to marinate some chicken. I just added in some finely chopped cilantro, and then I'm about to add this corn this fire roasted corn the way the girl did it on tiktok was she grilled some corn and put it in there but i don't have a grill so this is gonna have to do omg she looks delicious everything is done being prepared and now all i need to do is assemble so i am basically just gonna pour it all in this bowl The last piece of this little puzzle is some avo on top. Let's give it a little taste test. I love that, dense bean salad. So different, like in a bad way. Yes. Different in a bad way for sure. <laughs> the more and more we talk, the more I'm catching feelings for him. Hello guys. I'm sure by the time you're getting to this point, you've definitely seen the title. I don't really talk too much about my personal relationships online, but I've been dating someone since June of last year and we decided to end things in the beginning of April. When it happened, it was like, okay, I know that this needed to happen. I know that there was no longevity with this and it was necessary. So my logical brain was able to kind of process or block the process 
processing of any feelings and emotions because I was just like, okay, that's logical. It makes sense. That's what had to happen. And then I was traveling for the next three months. So April, like maybe days after this happened, I was in South Korea and then I was in Japan and then I was in Greece and then I was in Switzerland and then I was in Portugal. Also meeting so many new people, having so many new experiences that I honestly pushed every single thought and emotion I had about that situation to the back of my head. And even when I was home in between those trips, my mind was very occupied because I was redecorating my apartment which is a very exciting thing or getting excited for the next trip like i feel like i always had something to be excited about i my brain was always occupied and i hadn't had any time to be like sitting in my emotions on my own for any period of time and july has literally been just that i have i had no plans this entire month to be away from home this is the longest i've been home since last year and i don't know it's like a very confronting feeling to have something happen months ago but like you feel the emotions as if it just was like something that happened freshly yesterday like that is really what I feel like right now and I think it's affecting so many aspects of my life right now I have just been feeling so lonely I think that coupled with living alone it's just like wow like everyone hypes up living alone so much and I am right there with them I think living alone is the best thing that you can do for yourself if you can financially and you know mentally endure it but it is no small task there are days when I I wake up and I'm like wow I didn't say a single word yesterday like I didn't open my mouth once yesterday and it is a crazy lonely feeling I don't know how else to explain it because I've never been someone that's felt super lonely now I feel like so surrounded by people but also just like so lonely and it's a weird feeling to try to make sense of even watching back my vlogs it looks like i'm having so much fun like i'm always hanging out with my friends and like i'm just doing so much but in reality i do those things and i come home and i am alone such a contrast to how my life was like right before all of this traveling started happening and it's definitely a learning curve i never would like to think that i use someone as a crutch but it is just such a crazy feeling to talk to someone like all day every day to then like not at all i talk to my mom about a lot of things but there's some things that i don't even bore my mom with you know like if you go to the airport and the security line is long like i'm not gonna randomly text my mom like oh the security line is long like th it's such a dumb example but those are the things i miss texting to someone if i drop an egg on the ground and it splatters all over my floor like my friends don't care <laughs> To be honest, I don't know how to explain this. There's just some things that I feel only a significant other would care about, or even if they don't don't care about it, they would pretend to care about it. Yeah, I don't have that anymore. So I'm like, who am I gonna tell all of my insignificant things that happen in my life to? Who am I gonna talk to all day? So I am going to spend these next few months trying to figure out how I can get out of this and how to cope mentally with having more alone time and not being mentally stimulated constantly because it's really no way to get by in life. The feelings that I'm having now, I think everything I've been doing for the past few months has been a band-aid, but eventually the band-aid falls off it loses its stickiness and then you have to deal with the wound that's under so I feel like right now I'm dealing with the wound that's under but honestly the best thing about rock bottom is that there's nowhere but up to go from here so if you see me throwing myself into work honestly you have the entire explanation because I simply have nothing else to do I've been having some intense cramps so yesterday I laid down all day with my heating pad and I scrolled on Pinterest practically all day and just made a bunch of inspo boards for what I want my Instagram to look like, what I want my life to look like. I wrote out a ton of ideas for YouTube that I'm going to start filming and I'm just excited for this new era. I just think I was in some ways so held back by just so many things. Like there's so many things you think, wow, this is holding me back, but you don't feel it until it's not there anymore, until it's not holding you back anymore. And you're like, oh my gosh, I feel so much more free. And I feel all of those negative emotions while I'm feeling like 
okay, but this is such great potential. My state in life right now has such great potential and that's what I'm holding on to and that's what I'm excited about and that's what keeps me, you know, that's what gives me a will to live. I hope that this made sense. I kind of just rambled and I don't really know if this is even gonna make it in the video because you know I don't like people being in my business like that. But today I'm going to plan some videos. The next one is gonna be a bunch of summer outfits and I'm really excited for that because I did just online shop so much this past weekend. I told you guys I've been like actually couch ridden. I've la laid on this couch with my heating pad on my stomach all day yesterday. I online shopped, I scrolled Pinterest. I I even reached out to some hotels that I was like this would be a fun little staycation so I have that it's gonna be my next video but I planned out my videos for I think the next three months so if you guys want to see anything from me please comment it below if you're watching to this point I appreciate you thank you for listening to me ramble about literally nothing how about you comment the flower emojis because I'm looking at my flowers right now and they're literally so beautiful they're I think they're called pink lilies but they're just so beautiful oh my gosh that's gonna make me cry anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!